Hello everybody, this is the Eccentrician, and it is time to show you something cool. And no, this is not it. Alright, uh, so I just wanted to show you a small project that I've been working on. Well, I don't know if I can call it a really small project, but anyway, let's go check it out. What do we got up here? Alright, here we go. Uh, so I've been messing a good bit with Thumbcraft here, and um, I wanted to actually set up an automated way of, uh, well, not automated way of smelting items, but uh, an automated way of storing the V here. So um, I set up a nice little pipe network here, and it works for the most part. Uh, I am still ironing out the bugs, but um, I have done a good bit of testing and uh, I can get basically all of the aspects into their proper jars, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so let me show you what, what's happening back here. I basically got bellows connected to these here essential buffers. And yeah, I do have to use these essential buffers, uh, else things kind of go a little wonky. Uh, but yes, very good. Uh, and then I just have uh, filtered essential tubes with a bunch of stickers uh, going over there. And some Project Red stuff. And I do miss LRM for this, but hey, what you gonna do? Anyway, I've got this set up here, a sequencer with, um, no wait, excuse me, that's not a sequencer, that is a state cell. And that's a state cell. And so is that. Okay. Uh, so yeah. And this is actually one of the main problems with this setup is, uh, it has to be pretty slow in order to actually, uh, get the, the V into their jars. And I'm still working out the timing, but it's all good. So this is cool. And with that, I uh, you'll notice I have a bunch of levers here with respective numbers, 2 to 9. And let's go ahead and flip one. And hey, we've got stuff going on over here. Excellent. All right. Let's try f flipping in another one. Let's go that one. Aha. So this bit here... I uh, actually took a good bit of thinking, but the implementation was pretty easy. I uh, see I have drawbridges from Tinker's Mechworks here, um, and that's basically how I set up the uh, the hurricane pedestals. I cannot move these with pistons. That was my original thought was to use pistons to to push these up, but no. But it's all working, which is awesome, and that is a nice little project. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video.